Hello guys, how are you today? And welcome back to the 17th chapter of my guide on how to beat Ninja Gaiden Sigma in very hard difficulty. There we go, just after we kill Alma Awakening, we're going to start the level right here and please please remember to save right here first of all it is the most important thing because right now after we break this wall with the, any heavy weapon we are going to have to fire three berserkers Vigoria berserkers which are the most difficult enemies in the entire game like without counting bosses and any, any of that of course but it is super important that you save because in any case you die against them you are going to have to kill Alma Awakened again, and we of course don't want that. As you can see, here they are, really really hard enemies. The best way to kill them, in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure it is, it is like this. It is just by counter-attacking them with the Lunar Staff. This is how we are going to deal with them every single time. Because they are really really fast enemies, with heavy attacks, heavy armor, they have basically everything. and super super defensive so the best way by far it is just like that that is why i told you a lot of episodes ago that you had to practice the counter attacks because it is going to be super useful for these fights against these enemies you can see you just have to wait until they punch you and after you block the hit you have to react really quick and press the counter attack with heads is what i'm using right now and as you can see, they die pretty quickly. All you gotta be careful of is when they start doing that like dash and then start doing like a combo with a lot of slashes. Or also when they do that explosion in the floor, you have to roll that and escape from it because it does a lot of damage and you can't block that. Other than that, it is you just have to wait for the moment and counterattack them until they lie. The good thing about them is also that they always give you blue essence, so or blue orbs, so you will be healed every time you kill them, but you gotta be super super careful. I know it maybe looked easy, because I already know how to kill them and I have good practice against them, but do not underestimate them, they are really 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 hard enemies, I'm telling you. And also I am even think they maybe have resistance, some kind of resistance against nimbles because in my opinion the nimbles don't kill them that easily, honestly. I have used the Art of Inferno against them, which is the strongest nimble against single enemies in my opinion, and it almost does no damage to them. I mean it does, but not that much really, so you have to learn how to kill them with the counter attacks. Here it is, the Soul of Toku the boss in this chapter so let's go over here we can save and take this item or never mind the chest there are bats i mean it's pretty good now i'm full hp so it is something now let's see in the muramasa shop i think i have everything right now maybe i can buy this talisman yeah sure why not i'm almost mad yellow essence so i'm just gonna spend everything and let's go over this portal there are more bats over here whatever let's just kill them and in this portal we're also going to be or to see for the first time marbus the main boss fight in the next chapter the next chapter is going to be really really difficult and uh, it is going to be by far the longest chapter in the game and also it's pretty hard Okay, so now at this point, we're just going to have to defeat some enemy fiends like this. And for the first time, we're going to have to fight against these black crab like enemies, or I don't know how they're called. That one that is over there, that is like a crab. These enemies are really really annoying and really hard because as you can see they are heavy enemies, they do that explosion that does a lot of damage, 
Also, they normal attacks, do a lot of damage as well, they are pretty agile, they move around a lot, they are really really hard enemies and pretty annoying. I use the Dragon Sword against them, but just because there are also some other enemies in this place, like normal enemies, so I can use the Inazuma drop. But yeah, I'm getting destroyed right now. But the good thing also with the Dragon Sword against these crap enemies is that we can use the ultimate technique and it, it will work against them. We will launch them to the air and do a lot of damage. And also you can use the other new ultimate technique that we have with the Dragon Sword, which is... Oh, I tried to do it there but I couldn't. It is the one where we do like spins. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know how it's called. I'm going to put it in the screen, the combo, so you can see it. And not only that, it is this one. This one right here. Let me see if he comes near me. There it is. That is a really, really good ultimate technique that we have now. And I really suggest you to start practicing that because not only we're going to use it against Marbus, or not Marbus, sorry, Doku in this chapter, but also we're going to be using it against these grab enemies. It is a really, really good ultimate technique that we can do. It is pretty fast and do a lot of damage. So I really suggest you to start practicing. Now after that, we can heal a little bit, getting these grabs. There we go. And listen, the, that's the one that I'm telling you. I'm suggesting that you practice it just like I'm doing right here. Like that, it just it one jump and then insta do the charge for that ultimate technique. It is really good and it is worth it that you practice it just for a moment right there. Because it is going to be pretty pretty useful against the soul of Doku in that boss fight. Now that we have the key, we can go over here. And now this place is basically like a maze. There are going to be a lot of cost fishes as you can see. Let's just equip or before flail or also you could use the out of the fire wheels if you are too lazy to kill them you can just use it and run all over the place and they will die but also you can use the before flails with the armlet of benediction and you will see that we are going to farm a lot of yellow essence killing them because thanks to this armlet we are going to get even more yellow essence from them and you will see that I mean, in a second we are going to farm a lot. Also, when they spawn like that, you can take advantage and charge the ultimate technique with the Golden Flares. And we're going to not only kill a lot of them and farm or get a lot of Yellow Essence, but we also are using the Armlet of Benediction, so it's even more Yellow Essence. I mean, we can farm a lot here in this chapter, killing these fishes. But also don't, do not worry, you don't need to farm this chapter because in the next one there is like a little trick or a place where you can infinitely farm yellow essence, I will show you how to do it. So basically for this chapter all you want to have is enough yellow essence to buy some potions or maybe talisman of rubber to kill Doku. And in the next chapter I'm going to show you how to infinitely farm yellow essence so you won't have any problem with it. That is the good part about the next chapter, that even if it is probably the hardest one to beat in the entire game, at least in this difficulty, you are going to have a way to farm infinite yellow essence, so you will be able to buy as many potions and items as you want. Now in this place there are some chests, but nothing really that crazy. In this chapter though, we're going to find two golden scarabs which is enough to get the next reward, uh, 49 which is going to be the Plasma Saber that is basically like a skin for the true Dragon Sword it is exactly the same but I'll show you later I'm of course going to show you where to find the Gold Scarab in this chapter now in here you gotta be careful because they're going to spawn more of these Lion Cats and just like I have told you before I mean you can use a lot of different weapons against them I really like to use the Dragon Sword and it is the one that is the best for me because I just take my chance and do an Inazuma drop to them and they die pretty easily and also maybe sometimes I can do a flying swallow like that and no problem at all. A lot of people also like to use the Lunar Staff against them, it is also pretty effective. Also you could use the Pigorian Flares or Davilaro, it is up to you whichever weapon 
Fee is the best for you. Now here we get the key of lion, more potions, and again we have to be pretty careful. As you could kill those lion cats with the out of Inazuma, honestly, and you will one shot them with no problem at all. Now over here we gotta be careful as I told you because as you can see they're going to be not only more cat lion cats but also paired with one of these crabs so it is a pretty pretty dangerous fight you could lose your HP in seconds and of course the thing we want to do and focus on are going to be the lion cats first we gotta kill them all so we are in a 1v1 situation against these crabs or I guess in a 1v2 but it doesn't matter, you have to kill the lion cats first because they are the most quick ones and annoying ones. There you can see, as I told you before, the ultimate technique works against them. Ryu lifts them to the air and does the complete combo, so it is pretty pretty good. Also you could use, I guess, the Davilaro against this type of enemies, which is going to kill them way faster, but it is as well going to be a little bit trickier, you got to be pretty reactive and wait for your chance. Now in this place we're going to find our first called Scarab in this chapter. We have to go over here and here it is. Now we only need one for the next exchange and over this place there's going to be another che checkpoint. At this point we could basically go straight to the boss fight and end this chapter. It, it is a chapter that can be really really quick if you don't care about the items or whatever. But I'm going to get the next golden scarab, so we have to take another way, which is over here. There are going to be a lot of these ghost fishes, so we gotta prepare ourselves with the Begorian place and just kill them. Also, as I told you before, you can use the Ardos, the fire wheels, and just run through this place and they will insta die while trying to bite you. So it is your choice, but yeah, it is pretty annoying, there are a lot of them in all this place, you are basically going to be just killing these type of enemies again and again and again. I should use the nipple right here, but I don't know why, I, like, you already know that for some reason I almost never use my nipples. I don't even know why, it's not like I'm trying to do a challenge or anything, it's just, I just forget about them. But yeah, that should be every single one. So over here, I'm pretty sure right here we're going to find the golden scarab, not in this place. But in this little room, there it is. There will be 49 of them. And I'm pretty sure in this place there is also a Muramasa shop. And of course, more of these ghost fishes, why not? Let's just kill them, or whatever, let's just use the, the Nimpo, finally. As you can see, you can just run and they will never hit you. And you will kill them instantly. There it is also the Muramasa shop. So let's just kill these remaining ones. They never stop spawning, it is really annoying honestly. Okay, this should be the last one for sure. This one. There it is finally. And now we can do these chains with Muramasa, also take this key. I was lying, you have to go here anyways to get to the boss fight, I forgot about that key. And there it is, the plasma saver. This weapon, even I guess it is cool and everything, I'm going to start using it just for this chapter I guess. But it is nothing special really, it is basically like a skin for the true dragon sword. It is exactly the same, has the same exact combos attacks and damage and everything it is basically yeah like a skin need nothing more about it but maybe I'm, i mean a lot of people like it it sounds like a plasma saber of course it is a plasma saber i don't know why i say that but yeah some people like it some people don't i don't really use it that much because i get tired of the sounds but it is anyways very important to get because in the next chapter we're going to finally get our 50th golden scarab so if you want the dark dragon blade or all the collectibles of course you gotta take this golden scarab and take the plasma saber now at this point let's just kill all these fishes all over again 
and we can go straight to the boss fight at this point. This is basically all the chapter. But of course, oh my god, they never stop spawning and trying to get away from them. But I just can't. Okay, this should be the last one. There we go, finally. Now we can go over here and save. And just before the boss fight, we're going to have one last fight, which is going to be pretty difficult, kinda. So let's prepare with the Dragon Sword. And mm, there are also ghost fishes. I'm just gonna use actually the Dive Arrow since in these places we have to kill heavy enemies. So for these dragons, I also going to use, by the way, the Nimbo just to insta kill all the ghost fishes so they are not annoying. And here you can see that the Dive Arrow is also really really good against these crab enemies of course against the dragon as well so, i mean these enemies are no problem at all at this point for us the dragons but here you can see that this is the only problem that about using the devil arrow against these enemies is that they have such a strong defense that even sometimes they are just going to ignore us and still hit us or grab us so that is pretty annoying but other than that they die pretty quickly this should be the last enemy just kill him pretty quick, these dragons are pretty easy with the devil arrow and now that we kill them it is pretty important that we go back and save this is just because in any case we die against Toku or we have a pretty bad fire and you want to restart now that we kill them you can see that they are not going to respawn again even if you die they won't respawn if you save so yeah let's take the dragon sword and get ready for the fight against the soul of Toku Okay, so just at the start of the fire, right away, we're going to use the art of the fire wheels to kill all the ghost fishes instantly. And now for the fight against Doku, this is kind of a really annoying fight to be honest. But all we need to do is just be away from him, just like I'm doing here, dodging his abilities and everything. And when he comes near us like that, we will use the ultimate technique with the spins. This one right here and as you can see sometimes you will hit him sometimes you won't it is kind of luck based or i don't know but as you can see i mean it does so so much damage to him we kill him super quickly doing this strategy some people also like to use the level of flawlessness with the passive active and just do wall attacks but in my opinion this is the best one because we do so much damage with that attack that's why I told you to practice it also you can use a lot of potions in this fire and whatever it doesn't matter if you have a hard time against him because remember that in the next chapter I'm going to show you how to infinitely farm yellow essence so don't, you don't have to worry about the items and that would be it thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all your support I'll see you in the next chapter which is going to be a really really long and difficult chapter Thank you so much for watching again and uh, have a nice day. Bye.